Hey guys, my name is Alex from Alex Art Dreams. Welcome back to another video. If you're into anything creative like painting, illustrating, or bullet journaling, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. I have been dying to get this video out to you guys, like weeks ago. But um, you know, life's been a little bit hectic at the moment. I'm in the middle of moving house, which is super exciting, but it's a lot of work and a lot of packing. And I've already started putting my little studio away into boxes, reluctantly so, but it's going to be for the better. So, you know, things have been a bit busy for me at the moment, but I really, really wanted to get this video out to you guys. I'm super pumped to um, show you and share with you my uh, experience working with Art Coffee, which are Sydney based coffee roasters. Yeah, yeah, Sydney. They're under the Shabello group. So if you guys know coffee, I mean, these guys have been in the coffee game for years and they are serious about coffee and so am I. So it was honestly the perfect match made in heaven. I absolutely adore the brand. Art Coffee is all about creatives. It's about women and it's just passionate about coffee. And that's how I feel about coffee too. So it was honestly a brand that I just I fell immediately in love with um, I sunk into it very easily it was not forced or it wasn't I didn't feel coerced or I didn't feel pressured in the sense like when you have to turn your creativity on like a tap it came to me very easily it was a little bit out of my ordinary creative style which I'll share with you more so in this video it was definitely a pleasure to work with a brand that I really resonate with so I'm very happy to share it with you so if you're interested in all sorts of stuff like that then make sure you stick around and don't forget to give this video a like and maybe drop me a comment down below um, I'm very new to the YouTube community I've only got a handful of videos out and yeah everything's all brand new to me editing filming talking to a little lens like this like you like I'm not staring at anything it's actually a lot harder than you know than I thought it would be so I take my hat off to people out there that do this on the daily <laughs> anyway make sure you stick around to check out the rest of the video hi guys thanks for joining me I wanted to start off with a little bit of information on art coffee and who they are they're basically an artisan coffee brand based in Sydney and Brisbane they uh, fall under the Shabello group so if you know your coffee well and you're from Australia then you'll know that Shabello coffee is one of the heavyweights in the industry they've been around for I think over 20 years now and they're a family business so they really know their stuff so art coffee has a philosophy that is coffee that inspires and just to give you a little bit of an, uh, an idea on um, who they are they see coffee more than just a drink coffee means collaborate collaborating and connecting and they do that all the time they reach out to people like myself and they they work with artists and creatives and you know they're they're very heavy into the community which i'm thrilled about it's so refreshing to see there are some savvy companies that do this already and there are a lot that don't so encountering a brand like art coffee that does is it's always really refreshing they're also part of the international women's coffee alliance and the IWCA, their mission basically is to empower women in the international coffee community to achieve meaningful and sustainable lives. Um, so that's a fantastic organization and profits from Art Coffee actually are donated to the IWCA, which is fantastic. And another thing about Art Coffee that you may not know, they're sustainable. So it's sustainably and ethically sourced. Um, they source it from dedicated traders who are members of the Common Co for Coffee community. So the brief was to create handwritten affirmation cards for an event that Art Coffee was doing at a local gym. They were going to hand them out to the um, to the members there. And I was given a few different um, phrases to include on for the affirmation cards and I was given an example of the style of writing that they wanted. So this was a little bit outside of my usual um, work. I don't consider myself a lettering artist at all. So it did take a little bit of, um, just a little bit of researching and, 
and playing around um, with it to get a feel for it uh, because I worked with the Procreate app and it was very efficient um, working in that app however um, I had to find the right brush that would render the kind of handwritten look I, I was going for and uh, yeah so it did it took a little bit of um, you know trial and error but I got there in the end and once I once I mastered the first phrase um, I felt a lot more comfortable with it and I just kept going with it from there so I basically um, just created one file per phrase um, of just the hand lettering so no design concept colors or anything just the basic hand lettering and then what I did was I would bring that into a new canvas and then I started doing the um, the design side of things now the design side of things took me ages because I until I got the colors that I needed to work with I just chose what colors I saw fit and I played around with it for a bit and uh, I got a, a rough idea of where I wanted things to go um, and then when I finally got the colors that I needed to use I was then able to just execute it very quickly because I had already pre-planned and and thought it through which was good so <laughs> these videos are only a portion of what I did um, a lot of them are sped up crazy amounts and very heavily edited especially when I, I'm just writing the words um, just trying to lay down the groundwork because uh, yeah sometimes it would take me 10 tries on one character to get it right so I had to do a lot of editing to make it look presentable <laughs> so just to wrap things up would I work with Art Coffee again hell yes <laughs> they are fantastic their team is extremely friendly and they're super efficient and very helpful um, I really can't sing their praises enough they they were honestly it was a real pleasure working with them and I I actually did attend the event that they used my artwork at um, the event like I said earlier was held at a local gym and they had a beautiful coffee cart set up and they were handing out coffees and alongside that they were handing out the um, little cards with like little coupon codes on the back and uh, my artwork on the other side so I, uh, I got to see it in person and I got to rub shoulders with a lot of um, a lot of women it was a females only gym and I had a really good time so I guess I'd just like to end this with saying one thing and that is you know if you're a budding artist or illustrator out there and you're just trying to make a name for yourself or you're trying to get out there uh, just keep doing what you're doing just keep trying to put yourself out there I um, I have always wanted to embark on a creative career and not really having the opportunity to do so because let's face it you know you have to get on you know with real life responsibilities and I was lucky enough to try and make this dream come true um, after falling pregnant with my daughter and um, and now I feel very fortunate to be able to say that I'm giving it a real go and I'm enjoying my time doing it and if you're out there listening to this and this has sparked something in you or has helped you in any way please let me know I'd love to reach out and talk to you about it more so just leave me a comment down below all right guys thank you very much it's been a pleasure and thank you for watching Thank you.